Hey all, this is Luis from Heaviosity. Today I want to show you a little bit of why I think acoustic guitars are such great instruments to create a film scoring cue. I'll be using our brand new product, Scoring Acoustic Guitars, to craft the musical score to a very short uh, film footage. So let's get started. Alright, so let's begin by taking a listen to the cue. Here we go. As you can see, it's a very short, simple cue, but I think that has a lot of potential for like really effective and really powerful storytelling through music. Let's just view it without the music. Uh, as you can see, it's a vast landscape, the desert, the man standing still, he begins to walk. As he moves forward, the camera editing becomes a little faster, you get the close-up of the, of the legs walking, you have this sense of like moving forward and then at this point he stops walking he turns around looks onward end of cue for me this is a journey and i think like acoustic guitars are really good to reflect on on particular journeys it might have to do with where i come from it might have to do it's one of my it's the instrument one of the instruments i've played the most but i think uh, the acoustic guitars they can place you at a place, they can also help as interstitial or like evoke a genre. But for me, they're really good at, at evoking a certain feeling. There's a yearning. There's so like this very um, emotional power to it. And the second thing that I thought about when creating this cue is the rhythm. There's, there's this rhythm that is not like entirely like tension or thrilling. It's just sort of like when you're on a journey, right? There's a rhythm to that pace. There's a pace to the rhythm, whatever that even means. So the first thing I use with our brand new product, scoring acoustic guitars, uh, the backbone of the piece would be the, the nylon seal pulses. This guy's over here. Let's just play them. On the left, you'll hear the steel pulse O2. On the right, you're hearing a nylon pulse. This is all coming from the same NKI. And I just pan them one to the left and one to the right. What I like about this is like the steel string, it being punchy, it has that capacity of like feeling very like there's there's a rhythm. There's like the weight of the, of the feet landing onto the sand. And then the nylon is the one that's carrying this emotion. It has these subtle changes of harmony that I find like very very like very exciting in a way that I it's hard to describe there's like an uncanniness to it another where, another point that I use the loops is at the beginning just as an introduction this one has this very nice tremolo and as you can see it helps us lead into this talking about leading that's one of the things that I think is really cool about this instrument is uh, there's a there's a whole lot of like reverses and I used a bunch of them for this piece. Something that I like to keep in mind is when I when I'm scoring is keeping a consistent co uh, color palette. So using reverses that are also that can also come from nylon and steel string acoustic guitars makes everything just sort of feel like it comes from the same organic place. So the reverses they first show up here. As you can see, that one leads into the beginning of the of the walk, but then it also I'm I'm using this particular one show you, which is the the beginning of this guy. It's on a loop, sort of like dun, 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 dun. Uh, it ends up becoming a very cool ostinato that plays really nicely with the other loop, and then at the end from like from the same menu of. Uh, reverse pulses by changing the start time and playing with the ADSR you can control like how big a swell can be and you can also like find combinations that give you like a slight chord progression mm -hmm. 
and that one is very easy to time since everything's tempo synced. It's about like making sure your DAW is hitting the the right spot. Which for me, for this particular piece, is when he starts walking, when he stops walking, and when the piece ends. Very simple, but very rich in like storytelling. Uh, next thing, also with the reverses, uh, it's the the phrases. Phrases when reversed, they have they they're really good as motifs. And they are also like more subtle than actually playing a melodic line that might take too much space in terms of like the composition. That one's coming from the left side. As you can see, I'm also panning in the instrument. And the other thing I'm doing with this, guys, I'm using the EQ filter page to put a little, uh, uh, well, not a little, like quite strong high pass which allows to for two things. First, it sits very nicely in the mix. And second, it makes everything feel like a little more far away. So it gives more dimension, more, 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 more width to the piece. And then at the end, using this same instrument, the, the, I use a phrase, an actual phrase, uh, which for me, I feel it's, it's a really good way of like leading into like the next section, but in a way that makes you realize, oh, something's gonna happen. So basically, if we come from that previous one, you have like that first call, then this response, he starts walking, you see the camera shots changes. And that one like, it lands and helps you fall into that final moment in which the character stands, looks into the vastness and it's like, okay, my journey has not ended. It pretty much has just begun. So for me, that's like the big moment that I want to hit. And the other stuff that, that it's really useful uh, from this product, uh, and, in, and for acoustic guitars in general, there is a very specific color, not only to the actual sounds, but also to like the performances, like tremolos and harmonics. And at Heaviosity, we created these acoustic guitarscapes that sound like pretty, pretty cool, that mangle all of this information to create So again, just like the, with the reverse, re reverses, it's leading us into something happening. And at the end, you can stack them together, pan them in the engine, and then you very quickly... Bigness and lowness. And the nice thing about all of this is like you're 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 adding texture, you're you're adding size, and you're adding emotion all within the same color palette and all within this realm that is being created through acoustic guitars. And the last thing I wanted to show you is uh, this really cool complex pad called Frozen Fire that appeared that is playing like a subtle melody, an, an uncanny subtle melody. It's very, it's very affected, and it's a melody in itself, and you can barely hear it in the mix. But this is really cool because it's adding that like extra dimension to the background. And if I were to flesh this movie out, if this were a full movie, this could be like a really nice spot to be like, oh, this, this is like one of my main motifs. I'm gonna put it not in the forefront, but in the background. So like this, this scene is about this particular thing, which would be like the reverse phrases, but you still have like that recurring. Um, melodic ideas happening on the ground. So yeah, uh, so basically this is a very quick, short cue. I really wanted to explore the sounds and colors possible with the acoustic guitars because I really think they're really able to tell a story in a way that like you wouldn't think or, or, or originally. It has a very, very um, beautiful emotional response, to me at least, and I think it fit really well to this like inner and outwards journey in a vast desert. It's not something that's like eliciting danger. It's more like uh, introspective and it's more like there's a bigness, not only in the landscape, but also like in the emotions. So for this, I also added some uh, heavy acid strings. So let's just play everything and see how it all connects. Here for the beginning. Thank you. 
Bassness, introduction, swells, reverses. We land into the rhythm. Listen to the background of the pads. Everything is in a spot, just driving forward. The phrase comes here. We change the chord. We slow down. We swell. And we're out. So as you can see, acoustic guitars, they give you like a very uh, unique color palette that allows you to tap into very unique emotions. Not only that, they're able to fill up the space. They're able to like help you punctuate specific moments of the score. And they also allow you to create a rhythmic drive that is not, it's, that it's, that is subtle. It's not necessarily something that's very like heavy. Uh, so I'm gonna just play the whole piece so you can take a look at it, take a listen to it. And if you want more videos, go to heavyosity.com and hope to see you around.